Hello everyone, welcome to WP Boffins. This is your host Mizan and I'm here with another brand new video from my WordPress management series named WordPress for Absolute Beginner. In this video, we are going to learn about WordPress media and what medias are supported in WordPress by default. So let's begin. Media is a tab in your WordPress admin sidebar which is used to manage user uploads just like images, audio, video and other files. So, so the next question is what medias are supported that is supported media file types in WordPress by default. According to WordPress Codex, uh, Codex uh, if you don't know what is Codex codex is the official documentation provided by wordpress uh, so according to the wordpress codex specific media files are supported by the cms for uploads supported images include jpeg jpg both are the same with different extension png and gif file that is supported audio files include mp3 m4a Org and wave several video files types are also supported including mp4 m4v mov wmv avi mpg or mpeg ogv 3gp and 3g2 this gives you a quite a bit of freedom in terms of what you can upload generally these file types will serve the needs of most people so now let's have a look how we can upload and manage media files. Under the media menu, there are two screens. The first screen is, uh, or the first uh, option is library, and the second one is add new media. So if we click on library, then we'll see all the media already up uploaded. There is no media uploaded on this WordPress as it is a fresh one if there was any then we could have uh, seen all of them listed on here we can also add new media uh, by clicking here and upload it directly from our computer and if we uh, upload media from this option these will be uploaded to the WordPress CMS uh, to our website but those will not be attached to any post so if we want to add those image and attach them, them to the post then we can go to post let's say we are adding a media okay so I'm giving a name media post or it should be post with media okay so we can upload the media from here image and other things because it's a block editor so we can upload uh, any media like this like image files etc like in this way if you are using a classic editor then there will be different way to upload media uh, so I will show that in the later part of this video but right now I am going to click on upload if I want to upload it let's say I am uploading this image of myself it will be uploaded here and if I publish the post you can see it okay so here is the media and if we go back to the media library then we'll see that my, my image is already here so this is my image and if I click and uh, you can easily see that uh, uploaded to post with media that post so it's attached to that post so if I want to add a media without attaching to the post then I can also do that for that I'm actually going to 
um, at this one and it's already up uh, uploaded to the wordpress and if i click on it i will see that there is no uploaded to option because that's not attached to any post and right and now i can add this to any of my post let's say that i'm adding this to the papaya post that we have seen on our last video so i'm going to do that by clicking on this and media library from there i can click on uplo uh, upload file if i want to upload a new one but i am going to click on media library then i am clicking this one and just, uh, i have just added added it to my post and if i hit update then it's already attached to this post so in this way we, we can also add and upload media files if you have been using wordpress for a long time then maybe your editor is something different that i have already demonstrated because i have demonstrated how to add medias on block editor but the old editor in wordpress is known as classic editor so right now in any of the latest WordPress, WordPress version, there is no classic editor. It, it's uh, shipped with the block editor to years. So if you install a WordPress uh, beyond uh, September 2022, then uh, it means that you have block editor. So install. Uh, if you are comfortable with classic editor, then you have to install it. For that, we, what we have to do, we have to add that uh, uh, classic editor it's actually a plugin but as i am not uh, demonstrating how to install plugin so i am not going to explain everything i am just installing the plugin uh, classic editor uh, just to give you a quick uh, idea how to install the plugin you have to go to the plugin menu then add new and then you will see the classic editor at the very beginning because it's the most popular plugin with wordpress user five plus million active installation that means uh, five million plus users are actually using this one so uh, people are actually quite comfortable with classic editor than the block editor uh, at this moment uh, so i'm activating that okay so uh to use the classic editor we have to go to uh settings and writing i will explain everything later in uh, my dedicated video for uh settings but right now i have to see which editor is actually selected so right now the classic editor is the default so if i go back to my post and click on the papaya one so i'll see that the editor is different than the previous one so edited elementor is actually added by another plugin elementor which i will talk about uh, uh later in another video in my channel but right now i am not talking about that so the add me up add media button is the button that you will use to upload media file on your classic editor so let's see if i click on it then we'll see that this is our media library if we want to go add any new media file then we have to click on upload files and we can upload the files from this menu like these are the menus and uh, we have to put our cursor on the right direction or place uh, where we want to add any of our media so let's say that i want to add this one so in this way we can add media and, and in the classic editor you have to edit the media size and things like that and you have to align the medias mm, uh, so you can select the thumbnail medium size large size full size etc okay so that's it uh, how to add a media from classic editor we have also demonstrated that i have shown you how to upload images you can add any files uh, that i have said uh, on the supported list and uh, you can't add executable files like .exe and other format that are executable files for security purposes but um, you can easily add those if you compress that to zip file or rar files i hope that you now understand what medias are supported in wordpress and what is actually the uh, 
main reason for having media on our website so that was it for today's video and um, i hope that you know the basics of media and how to use them in wordpress i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye